Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm going to show you how to make these homemade ring pops. These are super easy to make, so keep watching and I'll show you step by step how to make these. Now these were a request video. Uh, James Diaz has been requesting I make Mountain Dew flavored ring pops, but here are just the regular flavored ones. We have cherry and we have raspberry, so I hope you enjoy this. Keep watching and I'll show you how to make this. The first thing we need to do is start off with a heavy bottom pot. To that, I'm gonna add one cup of white sugar, a half a cup of water, and a fourth a cup of light corn syrup. Now just bring this over to the stove. We wanna heat it up until it gets to 302 degrees Fahrenheit. And give it a light stir. And once the water clears up, you can stop stirring and put in your candy thermometer. We're going to wait until it gets to 302 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's when we know we can turn it off. And our candy has reached temperature. I'm going to turn off the heat, take my candy thermometer out, and we can bring this over to our workstation. Next, what we want to do, because I'm making two different colors and two different flavors, I'm going to pour part of this into another container. Make sure it's a heat-proof container, this Pyrex container is. So I'm going to pour some in here, about half. I have some raspberry flavoring here. I'm going to put a little bit of that in this one. And also, I'm going to color that blue, so blue food coloring. And we're going to mix this up. And for my other one, I'm going to use cherry flavoring. And red food coloring. Mix that in. Now this starts to harden up fast, so we do have to work quickly here. And you wanna use the one in a Pyrex bowl first because it's not as hot as the other one. I'm using plastic containers, which is very dangerous to do, so be careful. Um, if you have uh, the silicone ones, they work so much better. I don't have them. So we're gonna try it like this. And I have it on a cookie sheet just in case things don't go right. I'm gonna spray inside of each. And we're going to start with our blue and we're going to just fill this up, fill one up. And they come with these little tops. We're going to push that right down in the middle there. Next, we will use the red color, the cherry flavor. Looks like I have a little more of that than I did the blue, but we'll see how many we can fill. Now we're just going to let these sit out and harden up, and I'm going to let it sit out for a couple hours until they harden up, and then we'll try to pop them out, and hopefully they'll pop out nicely. So I've let my ring pop sit and harden up for a few hours. Now let's see if we can pull them out all intact. Just gonna kinda squeeze it to see if I can loosen up around it before we pop them out. wonder if I heat up like some hot water, put them in, maybe that will help it come out. Good news for those of you who watched this far into the video, I'm gonna do a little giveaway and it's gonna be a $25 Amazon gift card giveaway. All you have to do to enter is in the comment section below, put hashtag ring pops. I'm gonna randomly select one person four days from now from the date of this video going published. And after that, it'll be closed. But I'm gonna randomly select one winner to receive a $25 Amazon gift card. I'm gonna be doing these more often somewhere in the middle of my videos and not announcing that it's a giveaway. So I reward those of you who actually watch my videos. So I hope you enjoy this and good luck to all of you. So I have a 
little thing of hot water. I'm going to put some hot water, put this in the hot water, and hopefully it'll loosen it up. That's the plan anyway. Oh yeah, nice. That will work. There we go. That is one of our ring pops. Homemade. Now we'll do the rest. Well now it's time for the taste test. I'm going to try the cherry flavored one and see how it tastes. Of course we've got to put it on our finger. Of course my finger is rather big but most kids will be able to fit. And let's give it a try. See if it tastes like cherry. It does. Cherry homemade ring pops. Pretty cool. Well, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make these homemade ring pops. They're a lot of fun. Thanks again to James Diaz for uh, suggesting I make these. Uh, you do need to get a hold of a mold, and I'll put a link in the description below where I got my mold. That way, if you want to get a hold of one too, you can do that. Uh, for right now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, hit that big red subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, you get new videos all the time. And be sure to check out some of the videos I have off to the side. I think you may enjoy those as well. And until then, I'll see you next time.